people welcome to the last edition of our money motivation my name is Novelin Chirabo and I'm here to inspire you motivate you and energize you so you can lift your fullest potential as we wind down the year I'd like to share my parting inspiration for us so it's a time of the year where we're setting resolutions and setting goals and we're so excited about the new year and so my uh, inspiration for us today is evaluate before you plan so it's the time where people are setting resolutions, setting goals, very excited, very ambitious, very expectant about the new year. And it can be so easy for us to jump into the routine and the pattern of simply setting goals, resolutions, and expecting that things are going to happen because it's a new year. The reality is things don't change simply because the calendar has changed. You have got to set the right patterns, the right conditions for things to begin to change in your life. So it is important for you to stop and evaluate before you set new goals or new resolutions for the new year. Before you start planning, stop and evaluate. What I mean by evaluating is basically stopping and looking at your 2020. What was it like? What did you set out to achieve? What happened? What worked? What didn't work? Because both are important. If you don't identify the patterns that were conducive for your success or failure, chances are you are going to get exactly the same results if you don't change the patterns. So evaluating is helping you identify what worked or what didn't work. In essence, you carry forward what worked and you eliminate what didn't work. So look at the things or the conditions or the patterns that were basically uh, responsible for your failure this year and critically think through how can you change those patterns? How can you change those conditions? What can you do differently to expect different results? It has been said that it's only a madman who keeps doing exactly the same thing and expects different results. For us to get different results in the new year, we have got to be intentional about setting particular conditions and patterns and building habits that are going to enable us to excel in the things that we want to accomplish. So identify what was critical to your success this year and plan to continue with it. Also identify the things that were uh, critical to your downfall or your failure and what, uh, develop strategies to eliminate them. The second thing you need to do as you prepare for the new year is to critically evaluate your goals. What are some of the things that you wanted to achieve? I know that 2020, 2020 did not go according to plan. However, the reason you set those goals is because you really care about them. Because you want to achieve these things. So evaluate your goals and then carry some of them forward. You want to avoid the mistake of simply discarding your goals because you didn't achieve them. If it's important to you, then it's worth pursuing. So evaluate your goals. Maybe you were not able to accomplish it in this year, but you can carry it forward on your next agenda for 2021. So evaluate the goals that are important for you that you did accomplish and carry them forward. The third thing you can do in preparing for the new year is to set goals, not resolutions. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between goals and resolutions? Resolutions are more like a wish list. I want to lose weight, I want to make money, I want to travel the world, I want to do certain things. It's more of a wish list, things that you want to do, but there's no specific articulation in measurable ways what it will look like. How will you measure that success? What, that is where goals come in. Goals articulate the specifics, the measurable details of what you want to achieve. And then a goal is stated as something that is already achieved, not as something that you wish for. Now, psychology has shown that when you write something as a wish, there is low, there's lower um, mental resilience to pursue that thing. However, when you state, uh, make a statement of something as if it was already finished, there is a mental resolve to actually make it happen. So when you're writing your goal statement, write it like you are you have achieved it. I weigh this amount of kilos by 31st December 2021. And so be as specific and articulate as you can. So don't set resolutions because it's a wish list. Set goals. And then when you set your goals, break them down. Have timelines, have milestones that are going to track on a quarterly, on a monthly, on a weekly, on a daily if you can. Because if you don't track it, you're going to lose track along the way. So set goals, break them down into milestones or uh, tasks that you can track as you go along. The last thing you can do in preparing for the new year is to develop habits. Everything rises and falls on habits. Everything you've achieved this year is as a result of your habits. Now, I know that so much has changed around us, but for you to be able to achieve the things you truly care about, you've got to develop the right habits that will support you in achieving the things you want to achieve. So what are the habits you need to develop for you to become the person you anticipate and desire to become in the new year? Developing habits is not something we do uh, as a one-off. Habits is what we do every day. It's part of our routine. It's part of our pattern. Do not wait until April to start developing habits. If you want to excel at something, start right away 
by this week you should have a clear strategy on how you are going to begin to execute the uh, habits that you want to develop so what are the habits you need to develop for you to achieve your goals then go ahead and begin to work on them right from the start so four things you need to do before you get into planning evaluate your year evaluate the goals that you need to carry forward set clear goals and then four identify habits that you need to develop so you can be successful in the things you aspire to achieve in the new life. My name is Noelle Inchirawa. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.